I'm Tiger Jones, host of the most popular TV survival show, Amazonia. The Amazon rainforest is one of God's most fascinating and mysterious creations. Twelve thrill seekers have signed up for the adventure of a lifetime. Their goal? To survive six days in the wild of the Amazon. While battling the elements of the rainforest, teams of two will use their unique skills to solve a variety of challenges, earning a medallion for each one completed. At the end of each challenge, one team will be eliminated until only two remain. These final teams will battle it out to be the first to deliver their medallions to a hidden location. The prize at stake? $100,000. Let's meet our teams! Flip and Holly, Team Saliba. Clark and Louie, Team Ohanzi. Scout and Hunter, Team Marubo. Nelly and TJ, Team Arawak. Barker and Chase, Team Andoke. And Ace and Cruz, Team Yawanawa. 12 contestants, six teams, only one will be declared the winner of Amazonia. Okay, plenty of shade. Oh, nearby water source, that is good. <gasps> You little things. You're driving me crazy! Hi, uh, you must be one of the TV producers of the show. Are you lost? <laughs> TV producer. <laughs> no way, man! I'm one of the contestants. My name's Cruz. Yeah, you're, you're a contestant? Yeah. Okay, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Ace. What's up? Whoo! <laughs> Boy. <gasps> It is super sticky out here. How about that AC, right? Yeah, but wait a second. You've got a yellow bandana? Yeah. Really? really? See, I have been assigned to the Yawa Banana team, so. It, it's actually Yawanawa. Yeah, and it's my team too. Um, so I guess it looks like we're teammates. What? Sick! Team Yawa, yo mama! Man, this place is not what I expected it to be. What do you mean? Um, well, where are the bathrooms? Because, like, I just really have to go after that long boat ride on the river. Yeah, you're just gonna have to get used to doing your business out here. You know, and the great outdoors. Oh, right. Right, right, right. <laughs> cool. My mom did not mention that. Did you just say your mom? Yeah, yeah, I did. Funny story. Um, so... <laughs> My mom's actually the one who signed me up for the show, and when I got accepted, I was like, yeah, I'll try that. Ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be a long six days. No kidding. But hey, we're gonna get through it, right? Figure it out. <laughs> Teammate. Okay. Pal. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> buddy old pal. <laughs> <sighs> right, okay, just excited to get to those challenges. I have never seen trees this high before. I mean, this place, wow, this place is amazing. Oh, ew. Ah, oh, minus whatever that was. Yuck. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, wow. Looks like we got our first game update. Cool. Welcome, contestants. All six teams have now safely arrived. This location was specifically chosen so that you can see that God uses his creation to reveal himself to us. You and your partner will face unique challenges that will help you discover a truth about who God is. To uncover these truths and advance in the game, you must locate a medallion and drop it into your team's box. Throughout the game, Tomiki will issue the daily challenges. His wisdom and knowledge of the Amazon is unmatched, so listen carefully to the clues and information he gives you. The Amazon is full of unexpected twists and turns. Applying today's truth will help you in any situation, even ones that seem scary or overwhelming. To uncover the truth, follow this clue. 
Underneath your flag, a box you'll find. Inside, you'll see two truths and a lie to discover just how your skills apply. The first round of Amazonia starts now. Cool! Our first challenge! We're gonna ace it. <laughs> get it? But do you get it? Yeah, funny. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, after all these years of watching the show, I am finally on it and Tamiki is giving me the challenges, issuing it right to me. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, hey, Ace, look, there's a note for us. <laughs> Check it out. Inside this box are two envelopes, each with facts about your partner. Two are truths and one is a lie. The facts you learn will lead you to the medallion you must find in order to complete today's challenge. Okay, cool. Are there envelopes in there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, should you go first or should I? Or number one, go ahead. Ace broke his ankle at a trampoline park when he was eight years old. <laughs> number two, Ace has successfully climbed the four highest mountain peaks in the United States. You're right. Number three, Ace spent his entire summer vacation after fourth grade camping in the Grand Canyon. So uh, which one do you think is true? I don't know, it's just hard to know. I mean, I think it's the one about your ankle. No, wait, go with your gut cruise. <sighs> it could be the one about the mountains, but I mean like, <laughs> nobody's done that. No, wait, I'm gonna go with my gut. I think it's your ankle. No, but it could be the camping trip because like- Cruise, just it... pick one, please. Okay, it's the one about the mountains. There's no way that you did that. Wrong. I actually climbed all those mountains with my dad and my Uncle Bert before my 13th birthday. You're so cool. You're like Indiana Jones or like Tarzan or something. Okay, okay, okay. That's a little extreme, but uh, you know, you should have trusted your gut, like you were saying. It was the ankle. <laughs> so close. All right, all right, your turn. Oh, right. All right, let's see here. Okay. Number one, Cruz can eat three dozen tacos in one sitting. <laughs> Okay, number two. Cruz has conquered 53 levels of the popular video game Hidden Legends of the Amazon. What? Okay, number three. Cruz has a fear of chocolate pudding. Okay, are you serious? None of these can be true. Excuse them, why? Two of those are like 100% accurate. Scout's honor. Ugh. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go with the one about the video game. I mean, that one has to be a lie, right? Nobody can actually sit in front of a TV screen for that long and beat that many levels. False, my friend. False! <laughs> I mean, it's true. I, I did that. Are you serious? Yeah. How in the world did you even qualify for this show? You spend all your time in front of a TV screen. That may be true but I think you're gonna be really impressed with my Amazon knowledge just from playing that video game. I mean, it's like I've been here before. Okay, well, I don't know. I may not know the specificities of the Amazon, but I can assure you that actually surviving out here is a lot different than keeping your little video game character alive. It is called an avatar, thank you. Do you even know any survival skills? Like any at all? Have you ever been camping once in your life? Have I been camping, he asked. Well, have you? No, no I have not. Look, dude, I was just as shocked as you when I found out I was accepted to the show, but then I just figured surviving out here can't be that hard. <gasps> Just great. After applying for four consecutive seasons, I finally get on the show and I'm paired up with, with someone who can't even survive out in the outdoors. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was a tiger. Here, follow me. We'll go to the water source. Cats hate water. Ace, Ace, no, wait. That's not a tiger. Before we find out what happens next with Ace and Cruz, everybody jump up and sing one of our favorite songs! God, you're powerful and right. You protect me day and night. You are loving, you are kind. Oh, God, you're always in control. You know everywhere I go. You are good and you are wise. 
lights, oh There is nothing There is nothing that you can't do You can do anything There is nothing There is nothing too hard for you Good job, everyone. Take a seat. Let's play Rainforest Trivia. After hearing each question, you'll have two choices. If you think A is the correct answer, pretend to climb a tree. But if you think B is right on target, pat your legs. How many different kinds of plants can you find in the Amazon rainforest? A, 4,000. Or B, 40,000. Pretend to climb a tree for A, or pat your legs for B. It's 40,000. The rainforest is full of plants galore. How much does a full-grown green anaconda weigh? A, 550 pounds, or B, 350 pounds. Pretend to climb a tree if you choose letter A, or pat your legs for letter B. 550 pounds. That's like trying to pick up 138 birthday cakes all at once. When it starts raining in the rainforest, how long does it take for raindrops to reach the ground? A, 10 minutes, or B, four minutes. Pretend to climb a tree for letter A, or pat your legs for letter B. It takes 10 whole minutes for the rain to go from clouds to ground because of all the tall trees. Great job, everyone. How did you know that? I mean, it really sounded like a tiger to me. Something I learned on Hidden Legends of the Amazon. There's no lions or tigers out here, my friend. The most dangerous cat to fear out here is the jaguar. I'm just glad you caught up with me before I hit the river. I was heading straight toward danger. Yeah, you're the one that found that ancient tree house for us to climb in. I really thought we were going down with that thing chasing us. Ugh. <laughs> Is there like some sort of reset button or something here? I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> yeah, 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 you are. <laughs> oh, my ankle hurts really bad. Hey, could you be a pal of massaging for me? Ew, no! You, no way! You were the one that decided to swing down from the treehouse on that vine. Well, that little tiny monkey made it look so easy. It's a monkey! That's what monkeys do! Look, I'm sorry I'm deserting you and all, but I did not sign up for this. Running from danger cats is like not my idea of fun. <laughs> I'm out of here. Which way is the exit? Ow. Cruz. Ow. Cruz. Ow. You're not going to get very far walking around like that. And look, we're teammates, remember? We are. <laughs> yeah. 
And, you know, as crazy as it is, you do know a lot about this place because of that video game you play. And I don't know, let's just try to work together and stay focused and find the medallion. <gasps> yeah, the medallion. We gotta find it using those cards we had. I just don't get it. Is there some like mysterious hidden message on these or something? Here, let's try separating the cards. Okay. Um, the taco card, that was the lie for me. I can eat four dozen in one sitting. What? Don't judge me. Okay, and uh, th this one is the lie for me. Hmm. Wait a second. Oh, look, look, there's a cipher on your back. <gasps> Viper on my back? No, no, a cipher. Put it back your card. Oh, numbers that represent letters, got it. Okay, just what I thought, yours has the letters. Okay, and we use the code to figure out what the letters mean. Yeah, exactly, okay. quick. I will read off the numbers and you tell me the letters that match. Yes, 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 on it. Okay, 20. Uh, T. 18. R. 5. E. 5. E. 8. H. 15. O. 21. U. 19. S. 5. E. Treehouse! Yes! Awesome, all right, we gotta make it to the ancient treehouse right over there. Let's go, let's go, quick. Okay, yeah! Uh, right behind you, buddy. I mean, I'm not technically right behind you. I'm, it's gonna be a few minutes on account of my excruciating ankle pain! Oh, this is so shiny. Wow, I wonder if it's worth any money. <laughs> Maybe it's worth a thousand chicken nuggets. <laughs> Ace, I just wanna go home. That jaguar, it tried to eat us. Observation of the day, the jungle tried to eat us. I mean, aren't you at least a little bit scared too? Yeah, I mean, I feel so tiny and powerless here. But I think we just need to focus on finishing today's challenge. Look, even with all the crazy stuff that's happened today, we still managed to find this. And we just need to see what truth it reveals. Now, once we drop it in our tease box, we should get an update with a truth we'll need throughout the game. Here goes. Nope. Yep. Oh. Right on schedule. Wow. Ace and Cruz, you've successfully completed your first challenge. This truth will serve you well as you continue to face the challenges of the Amazon. Sometimes we can feel so helpless in this great big world that's full of problems. We forget that the God who made us and who loves us is all powerful and ready to help us with anything we face. All we have to do is look around at everything God made and see evidence of his power. That's because before time began, there was no universe. Not even the sun or moon existed. It was just a big bunch of emptiness, but God was there. God decided to create the universe and everything in it, and it only took him six days. Now that may not seem like a very long time to create the entire universe, but God is so powerful that all he had to do to make everything was to speak and it was created. On the very first day, he simply said, let there be light. And immediately, light appeared, separating the day from the night. Over the next several days, God continued to create the world. He created the bright blue sky, the big oceans, and all the land. God also created the sun that helps everything grow, a moon in the night sky, and all of the stars in space. And on the fifth day, God created all of the animals that live in the oceans, like the great white sharks and the tiny minnows. He also made the birds in the air and the tiny tree frogs that jump on the ground. Then on the sixth day, God made all the other animals, like the mighty elephant and the strong crocodile. God wanted someone to enjoy all that he had made, so he created a man named Adam and a woman named Eve. Then he told them to have a family and to take care of every living thing on earth. When God had finished creating the world and everything in it, he thought that it was good and he rested. God made every animal that you have ever seen, and even some that you haven't. Huh? The deepest ocean, the tallest mountain, and even the most powerful volcanoes were all made by Him. Even when we can't see God face to face here on earth, we can look around at what He has created and know that He is powerful. 
The world we live in serves as a reminder that there isn't anything He can't speak into action or do for us. If we find ourselves in the middle of a tough situation, we can remember that nothing is too hard for Him because God is all-powerful. God is all-powerful. Yawa Nawa, you have now advanced to the next round of the competition. Hopefully your experience in the Amazon so far has helped you to see that God reveals himself to us through his creation. It's amazing to think that he spoke and created all of the things around you. As you move forward in the competition and face situations that may seem difficult, remember that God's power is limitless and nothing is too hard for him to do. I mean, I know I've been scared of everything that's happened to us all day, but Tiger Jones is right. If God is powerful enough to create this entire rainforest, then he's definitely strong enough to help us. We just need to remember that God is more powerful than any problem that we might face here. So does that mean you're gonna stay then? Yes. <laughs> and those other teams, they better be ready for some Yawa Nawa domination! Oh. oh. I wonder what that's about. I don't know. The search for today's medallion created a shocking turn of events as projected frontrunners Nelly and TJ have been eliminated from the competition. For the remaining contestants, tomorrow's challenge awaits. Man! I met Nellie on the plane. She seemed like a survival genius. That is shocking. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Here, hold this. I think we're gonna need to build our shelter tonight and find some food to eat for dinner. Find some food? Oh, I thought the producers were gonna bring us like spaghetti or something. Oh, we can have spaghetti. If you want worm spaghetti. Oh, ew, no! <laughs> Come on. Hey, you're not gonna eat that, are you? You definitely are, aren't you? Eating it? I hope it's good! To see if you can remember some things you learned today, try to spot the difference as quickly as you can. Who created the universe and everything in it? A. Tiger Jones, or B, God. Yes, God created all things. Spot what's different. What does creation show us about God? A, that he loves pizza, or B, that he is all powerful that he is all powerful. Great job. All right, let's pray. Hey God, thank you for everything you've made. When we look at the things you created, we can see just how strong and powerful you are. Help us to trust in your unlimited power when we're afraid or feel like things are out of our control. Thank you for loving us. We love you, amen.